Okay guys, welcome back to Uncle Asmi channel. Okay, today we are going to learn how to set a timer for our quiz. For example, we want to allow our respondent to answer our quiz at a designated time of let's say 30 minutes. That means after 30 minutes, the quiz will end. How are we going to do that? So as usual, we have to go into Google Form Free. Press Google Forms free online service for personal use. I want to press personal. And I want you to log in using your own account. Okay. I wanted to press this forms home. It's a blue box at the upper left hand corner. Now we are at the main screen of Google Form. We have two choices. We can either create a blank new form or quiz or we can look back at our previous forms that we have created. This is the form that we have created in our previous lesson. Okay, for example, I want to edit back my math quiz. I just press on this. And here, my quiz that I have created last week. Okay, I want, I want to put a timer here so the person who is going to answer this quiz will have only 5 minutes of time. After that, the quiz will end by itself. So, how are we going to do that? You have to press these three dots beside send. It's a more button. You have to scroll down until you can see one of the menu is called add ons. Okay, I wanted to press add ons. In here, we have a lot of add-ons. What are add-ons? They are an addition to your Google form so you can perform extra tasks or you can perform extra functionality for your Google form. Okay, we are going to install an add-on calls form timer. You search the apps over here. Press key in form timer and press enter. Here we go. We have an add-on call form timer in order for us to set the timing for our quiz. I want you to press this form timer and I want you to press install. Make sure it is form timer add on. Okay. Press install. Continue. Just wait for it to be installed and I want you to press your account back 
is the same account or email that you log in to your Google form. Okay, just scroll down until you can find a button called allow. Press allow. Just wait. Here we go. Form timer has been installed. Okay, this is the first step. I wanted to press done. After that, we have to press close. Can you see this X button? I wanted to press close. And you are sent back to your maths quiz or any quiz that you have created before. It doesn't matter. This is only an example. Okay, let's say we want to set a timer for this math quiz. How to do that? Okay. I wanted to press this thing. There is a new button that appears over here. It calls an add-ons button. It's next to this customize team button. Okay. It's called an add-ons button. I want to press this add-on buttons. Okay. After you press this thing, Google Form will list all the add-ons that have been installed. Okay. Since we have installed Form Timer to time our quiz, it will appear here. If you add more add-ons, it will appear here too. So we just press this form timer. Okay. Press configure. So we are able to set our time. Make sure form timer appear here. Okay. And how to enable it? I wanted to press enable. Please wait. Okay. You are all set. That means you have enabled the form timer. Okay. I want you to press continue to form timer. Okay. So here we go. This is the math quiz that we have put in the timer. How to set the time. Okay, I wanted to press this math quiz. Okay, we have this form details and all that. Okay, I wanted to press set up. This is the first button in form timer that we are going to press. Make sure the form details is math quiz or any quiz that we have created before. I wanted to press setup. Okay. Okay, I wanted to press test config. This is the time that you allow your respondent to answer your quiz. Let's say I want it to be because I have only one question. I want it to be at one minute. You can put in any minutes that is suitable for your question. If you have a lot of question, you should increase the timing. Okay, if you have few question, you can reduce the time. Maybe you can set each question to be one minute. Or maybe you want to set each question to be three minutes. It depends on what type of question that you want. Okay, for example, for match question, you may need three seconds, for example. Okay, you can always change that. Okay, so that means for math question, if you have three math question, it's going to be nine minutes, for example, because you are going to do calculation and all that. 
Okay, it's depend on on the question itself. Okay, for example, because I have only one question and it's quite simple, I just want to make it at one minute. Okay, this is the button that allow you to continue your quiz after time out. Okay, I disable this thing because I don't want the person who answer our question to continue even if the time is out. Okay. Okay, this is the welcome page config and you can put this thing as the instruction. Let's say, please answer all question. Your time will be one minutes all right and you can put in the the background color as anything that you like for example you want to make it this blue or something and the tag as black or something it's depend on your preference okay let's say i want to make it as red or something okay and i press save all right so that's all update successful so i want to give the link to my quiz to others how to do that okay i wanted to press this test link copy test link paste the test link to your schoology updates just like before all right Okay, in Schoology, I wanted to, I wanted to press updates link. I just put our link over here. I wanted to press Control V simultaneously. Control and V. Okay, this is the form. This is the quiz with the time. Okay, press attach. And just put in something that explain more about your quiz. Okay, answer all question. You will be given one minute. All right. And I wanted to press post. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's test our quiz. Press the link. Okay. This is the quiz that have a timing of one minute. And you just press get started. Okay. So, the difference between the quiz that we have created last week is that previously we doesn't have any of this timing now we can set the timing to one minute or anything that is relevant to your quiz okay so we just just press get started and you can see here we have a timer over here that will be counted down until the time is finished okay my email over here thirty one seconds okay because I set it at one minute okay I just press this thing Okay, don't do anything with this. You just make it as it is. Don't modify. You just don't do anything with this. Okay, I just press submit. My time is out because I just passed my one minutes of allocated time. Okay, so that means I am not answering all the question. So I couldn't do that because the time is out. So okay, so this is how the form timer works.
Okay? You must finish all the question before the time that we have set up is over. Okay, thank you very much. See you again in our next lesson.